In today's video, I'm gonna take you through three reasons you shouldn't start a print-on-demand store. Let's do it. Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you're doing super well. Thank you so much for watching today. And if you're new here, my name's Kerry. Let's jump in. If you're watching this video, you're probably someone who is thinking about starting up a print on demand store or some kind of online apparel business. And you wanna look at some of the pros and cons of this business model called print on demand. Now, if you don't know me, my name's Kerry and I'm the founder of Shirt School. And the cool thing is, is I've had the privilege over the last three and a half years to work with thousands of sellers all around the world that are trying to make this print on demand business model work. And that's given me the ability to see a lot of the struggles, the pros and cons that people run into in trying to do this. And I've also been selling with print on demand myself for some something like six plus years or somewhere around there. So I've also experienced a lot of the issues myself. And so today I wanna to talk to you about just three reasons why you might not wanna start up a print on demand store. And if you fit into these categories that I'm gonna talk about, maybe you should consider doing your own, printing your own products or having them locally printed as opposed to just going with print on demand. The last thing I wanna say before I jump into the three reasons is that that I'm a huge fan of print on demand. If you have seen my channel at all, you know that I love print on demand. I think there's so many reasons why print on demand is a great business model. And I think the pros far outweigh the cons. So I definitely wanna say that up front. I am a little bit biased. I do also have my program that I work with people doing print on demand. So it would greatly benefit me to promote print on demand. But in today's video, I wanna do my best to be transparent with you and just talk to you about some of these things that I've seen and hopefully it'll help you. The number one reason I think you shouldn't start a print on demand store is simply control. If you are somebody who wants a high level of control over your shipments, the quality, the branding, print on demand might not be the way for you. Now, one, one of the biggest struggles, or I'd probably say the biggest struggle that I've seen with people is picking the right print on demand company. It's a little bit of decision fatigue is one reason because there are over 300 uh, just in the Shopify app store, different print on demand apps and print on demand companies. And it's really hard to find the right one that's gonna fit what you need. So that's a really tough decision. Now, in, in addition to that, a lot of people run into the issue of just not having a good experience with a print on demand company. So once you do make a decision and you're going through all these print on demand companies, you're examining everything, you're trying to pick the right one and you pick one, a lot of people end up having a bad experience and needing to switch. Now, I hope on this channel, all the videos we create and the reviews that we do, I hope that they help you make an educated decision and have a really good experience and pick a print on demand that you can trust. But the reality is this is a pain point for thousands and thousands of people trying to do this business model. And the reason it's such a pain point is because you don't have control over the branding. In fact, most print on demand pr uh, providers don't even offer any kind of custom branding, which means when you sell something like a t-shirt, you're just printing on the front or maybe the front, front and back, but you can't customize the tag and you can't do the sleeves and you can't do all those kind of things. Now there are print on demands that offer that, but most don't, probably 95% of print on demand providers don't offer those options. So you don't have control over the branding. You also don't have control over the quality. Now I wanna explain something really quickly that might help you in this category in talking about quality control. There are really two types of print on demand companies to pay attention to uh, when you're looking at quality and quality control. The first type of print on demand company in this category is if you're considering starting up a new print on demand store or you're just considering starting up an e-commerce store, I wanna let you know about a special promotion that Shopify has right now to start up your e-commerce business. Now Shopify is currently offering a three day free trial and then $1 per month for three months. This means for 93 days, you can just pay $3 and build your store and start bringing in sales. In my opinion, this is the best promotion I've ever seen for an incredible platform like Shopify. And I've been using Shopify for my e-commerce platform for over six years and I absolutely love it. Not only is it an amazing e-commerce platform to build your entire website, your store, host everything, including your inventory and customer data, but it allows you to connect with over 300 print-on-demand companies 
inside the Shopify app store. So again, if you wanna take advantage of this promotion and start up a brand new Shopify store, just go over to shirtschool.com slash Shopify and you'll get a three day free trial, then $1 per month for three months. This is an incredible promotion. So go over to shirtschool.com slash Shopify and take advantage right now. The first type of print on demand company in this category is a company that is doing all their printing in house, which means they own the facilities and they're employing the people and they are controlling all of the quality and all of the printing. Most times you're going to have a better experience with this type of print on demand provider that owns their printing facilities and control that whole process. The second type is the print on demand provider that outsources all the printing to different facilities. Now, some examples of each of these, if we talk about print on demand providers that are outsourcing their printing, companies like Printify, which is actually really transparent because you can pick the print provider that you wanna use. Uh, other companies like Gelato, and there are many, many that do this, uh, where they have all these facilities, sometimes all over the world, sometimes in certain countries, uh, where they just, when they get an order, they just send it to the closest print facility, which means they are not employing the people, they are not checking the quality control, they really don't have a hand in the printing and the quality at all. But some examples of companies that do their printing in-house would be companies like Printful, which is the biggest print-on-demand provider, or my favorite print-on-demand company, which is called Awkward Styles. Awkward Styles has a facility in California where they are printing every single item that you sell through their app, which is really, really cool. And that allows them to have that higher degree of quality control. And so this is something I would probably look for if this is something that's really important to you is uh, these print on demand providers that are doing all their printing in house. But the first reason you maybe shouldn't start a print on demand provider is if you are somebody who wants that high level of control, you want high branding, you wanna make sure you have control over the quality, you want to see that fulfillment process from printing to shipping uh, and make sure everything is, is really up to your standards. If you're that type of person, this might not be the business for you. Now that we got the biggest reason out of the way, let's move to the second reason, and that is lack of specific products. So as I mentioned earlier, when you're picking a print on demand provider, this is one of those things that makes it really difficult is looking at the product selection. You're gonna find the whole gamut of product selection across print on demand providers from companies that are just selling like t-shirts in general, we just do t-shirts or we just do mugs or whatever, all the way up to companies that have 500 plus products in their catalog. Uh, so it can be really overwhelming in trying to pick the right one. And what happens to a lot of people is they go with a maybe a smaller print on demand provider that has a smaller catalog and then they end up wanting additional products and that creates some headaches and some different things. But lack of specific products is a big reason um, that, you know, big issue with print on demand. And specifically, even some of the bigger print on demand providers that have a big product product selection or product catalog, I often see a lack of really unique products in the women's category, as far as apparel goes, kids apparel, baby apparel, and sometimes uh, extended sizing. Um, so it, just extended sizes are sometimes harder to find. And also uh, just unique apparel products. When you are doing wholesale, when you're buying the products yourself, sometimes you'll find really, a lot of times you'll be able to find really, really cool and unique pieces of apparel, right? Uh, that is not just your typical t-shirt. And these are gonna be much harder to find on print on demand in general. And as I mentioned, even some of the bigger product catalogs, it can be hard to find these, these uh, certain types. Uh, of, of products and even some of the companies, the print on demand companies that have, you know, maybe they have a really great baby catalog. What I've found in my experience is that those products tend to go out of stock more frequently than your general t-shirts, hoodies, and those kind of things. So this is something to consider is that if you are wanting to sell products that are really, really, you know, odd, they're out of the norm, even if it's apparel, but you're just wanting to focus on more unique apparel, you're gonna have to really find a print on demand that really fits what you want from a product catalog standpoint. Um, or, you know, on the other hand, print on demand just might not be the business model for you if that's what you wanna focus on. The number three reason is copycat designs. Yes, I wanna talk about it. 
Now, in my opinion, you know, I don't think this is as big of an issue as people make it out to be, but I do think that it is a concern of a lot of new print on demand sellers, and it is a very real thing that is out there. Now, one of the reasons there are a lot and abundance of copycat designs in the print on demand space is because print on demand is such an easy business model to get into and it has such a low barrier of entry. Anyone can start up a print on demand store or start selling with print on demand on Etsy or Teespring or Redbubble like within 10 minutes, right? You can set up an account, you can do designs, upload them very quickly. You don't have to have any inventory. So print on demand has a super low barrier to entry. And so that just enables many more people to get into this business model and it can create more copycat designs. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I think for new print on demand sellers, I don't think this should be a big concern for you, but I know it is for a lot of people. But the reason that I say it shouldn't be a big concern is because when you're starting out, you don't yet have a product that people will want to copy. People copy things that are already successful. That's why you see, you know, Gucci t-shirts that are fake and fake Nikes and these kind of things because people wanna copy the things that are already selling because those copycats are just looking for an easy buck, right? They're looking for something easy to make money easily, right? Just by ripping off something. And so when you're starting out, you don't yet have proof of your concept. You don't have sales. You don't have any of that proof that your product is good. So normally copycats don't wanna copy you. There's no reason to copy you. They don't know if it, they're not gonna make any sales if they do, right? So this usually comes into play when you really start to have a design or some designs really take off and you start to have thousands of sales coming in, then the copycats will come. And this is a very real issue that you would have to face if you, you know, are really selling at a high level. Now, depending on the type of designs that you're selling, you can look into, you know, copyright and trademark protection. That might be something you want to explore if you are really selling uh, at a high level, you have a high volume of sales coming in. But in most cases, this is just something you have to deal with. And in most cases, you know, the people that are copying you are never gonna live up to the success that you've had. And so what I see most sellers doing is really ignoring this, but you can get a lawyer and you can send a cease and desist letter. And I would probably recommend that you do that if you're really selling, you know, thousands of orders each month and you're seeing a number of copycats come along. This issue of copycats isn't, isolated to print on demand. This is really a issue that happens in a lot of product categories. So it's really not a print on demand problem, but I do see that it can be very prevalent, especially on platforms like Etsy and some of these marketplaces. It's not gonna be as big of an issue if you have a Shopify store, but I see it a lot on these marketplaces. And I think it's something you know you need to think about if you're thinking about starting up print on demand. I don't think this should be a reason that you shouldn't start a print on demand, but for some reason, for, for some people, this may be a reason that you wouldn't wanna start. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope this video was super helpful. And if you got any value out of it, would you do me a quick favor and just softly press on the like button? That really helps us get this out to more people across YouTube. And also consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon to make sure you get notified when new videos and podcasts release. See you soon.